What's up guys, it's Quentin bringing another video, and today uh, on the Velocity channel, I'm going to do my serious series, episode number two, where I talk about some serious questions that you guys ask me on Twitter. So, this question is from at 4 piece underscore VEL. He said, um, how do you feel gaming has changed some of your opportunities that you could have accomplished? Um, gaming is kind of weird, because it takes up a lot of your time. But it's not in like, some people view it as a bad way, but I think, I don't know, it's just, the only thing it really has not done for me is last year my grades weren't too hot, but I could have fixed that. I just like, now I, I game as much as I did last year, but um, I just didn't really focus on school as much last year because I didn't take it seriously, but now I'm a junior, so I kind of have to take that stuff seriously, but I think sports kind of... I don't know, I stopped playing sports when I was a freshman. So, um, I think it was the summer between 9th and 10th grade that I really got into like competitive, like league play and stuff. I didn't even know about GBs when I started playing league play. But like, between 9th and 10th grade, I started like really getting into it. 9th grade, my grades were fine. 10th grade, that's when I like, you could tell my grades dropped because I started getting into gaming. But I think it affected my grades. I don't know about sports, because like, I just really wasn't interested in sports when I got into high school. I think this year I'm just going to do track and field, and I, I might do tennis, like as a joke, because like, tennis is one of the gayest sports ever, no offense to anyone who plays tennis, but it's just like, it's, it's I don't know, it's not normal. I think it'd be funny, but um, yeah, I don't know, I think, it, obviously gaming has opened and closed doors at the same time, like obviously without gaming this much I wouldn't have my YouTube channel, I wouldn't be on Velocity, I wouldn't do any of the stuff that I do now. But, uh, it's cool, and I'm finally, oh, finally, I'm getting new internet. After begging my mom for months, I'm getting new internet. I think it has a 30, 30 up, 30 down, or I don't know, up and down, either one. I know one is 30, and one is 3, and probably the ping's gonna be around, like, 20 or 10, which is good. I really hope, I really hope that happens soon so I can live stream for you guys. But, I don't know, gaming, <laughs> it just depends if you... I wish I started, I wish I would have started gaming earlier, honestly, if I could change one thing, I would do that, I would start gaming earlier, so I could get a better grip on competitive than I do now, because I'm just not as consistent now, and I think if I was, if I was at the level I was now, last year, I would, oh, I'd be so good, by now I'd be so good, I, I, my first GB I ever played was in like, like two months in a ghost, and like, now look where I've come, so it's kind of like, it's kind of something cool to look back on, like, you know, look at what I've done, but a lot of people don't take gaming seriously, and that's kind of like something weird. I remember somebody said, like, like, what do you do? Do you play sports? I'm like, I used to play sports, but now, like, I kind of play, like, I told them I, oh, this is weird, but I said I play, like, competitive Call of Duty, and they started cracking up, and I was like, I'm not even kidding. It's not a joke, but, uh, I mean, it was, it, they, they thought it was funny. It was funny or whatever. They just didn't know it was a real thing, and that's that's another thing is people don't realize how big gaming is. Like real life people, you know, like compared to people who are in touch with the internet and know what's going on. Like league play is like ten times bigger than the Call of Duty community, and um, even my parents, like no one knows about League of Legends because they're not. And I guess it's just that generation of parents, because they didn't have the internet growing up, and they kind of thought it was a waste of time, and video games were a waste of time, which is some people really still are. Like. Like at this, the Votech, or the, I guess it's called the Votech, the vocational technical school that I go to for welding. A lot of the kids in there, like, they don't get gaming. They don't, I mean, a couple kids do, which is great, but a lot of people just don't understand it. It's just something that you either understand it or you don't, or somebody really gets you involved. Like, Marcin got me involved in gaming, actually. Like, we used to think, we used to think Silver Division and Black Ops 2 was amazing. Oh, jeez, that, that's embarrassing, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to, I mean, it's not that really deep of a question, but it's something I, I could talk about, and obviously, Four Piece wanted me to talk about it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and. There's fucking riding a pussy!